Hello and welcome to another edition of Disney Movie Investigation. If this is your first time watching, welcome to the show. On each episode, we take a look at a movie that is featured on Disney+. Plus. On this episode, we are taking a look at a Disney Channel original movie called Bad Hair Day, starring Laura Morano and Lynn, Leia and Len Baker. And also stay tuned for our bonus episode as we take a look at the early days of the Disney Channel as we take a look at a Disney Channel original show, Dumbo Circus. And if you are enjoying these videos, please do hit that subscribe button. That way you will never miss a single one of our episodes. But for now, sit back and enjoy this episode of Disney Movie Investigation. So like I said, today we are covering Bad Hair Day. Uh, this movie premiered on the Disney Channel on February 13th, 2015, and it was directed by Eric Canuel. It was written by Matt Eddy, Bill Eddy, Eric M. Garner, and Stephen H. Wilson. The production company was Muse Distribution International, and it was distributed by Disney ABC Domestic Television. So let's take a look at the development. Uh, so this movie was filmed in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and Laura Morano was already known for her starring role in the Disney Channel series Austin and Alley, but this was her first Disney Channel original movie. This was also the first Disney Channel original movie to have an adult lead, as most of the Disney Channel original movies were uh, starring teenage uh, child stars. The film soundtrack was composed by Michael Corve, who worked with Sylvain Leboeuf, Le and the recording sessions took place in Prague. The movie did premiere on the Watch Disney Channel app before appearing on the Disney Channel station on February 13th, 2015. So let's take a look at the cast. So we have Laura Morano, who plays Monica Reeves, uh, Leia Allen Baker, who plays Liz, Christian Campbell, who plays Pierce, Kiana Mandaria, who plays Sierra, Jake Manley, who plays Kyle Timmons, and Zoe de Grand Mansion, who plays Ashley. So let's take a look at the plot. A high school student is desperate to be prom queen but on the big night, her hair is an uncontrollable bad mess. Meanwhile, a lady FBI agent is on the hunt for a missing jewel necklace along with the jewel thief, and the messy-haired girl has the necklace accidentally in her possession. Soon, she and the agent chase the jewel, th jewel thief, and she is whizzed on a wild adventure throughout the city. So would I recommend this movie? Um, I think the movie is okay. Um, a lot of comedy is there, but the story unfortunately goes back and forth between the jewel thief heist and the prom queen disaster. Um, I think it's almost like we're watching two different movies. Um, I think Lee, Lee Alley Baker was the standout um, as Liz. Uh, her scenes were very funny and it uh, was very, kind of breathed a breath of fresh air into the movie. Um, I did like Laura Morano as well. Uh, she did a different take of the typical popular girl with the ditzy hair and the ditzy kind of attitude um it wasn't all the ditzy popular girl it actually had some substance of an emotional arc because uh, she was actually a whiz kid and she was debating going to uh technical college over local college so uh it was kind of a fresh new take on it um overall i think this is one of the better disney channel original movies um it definitely has some substance to it um so definitely one i would recommend if i were to recommend any of the disney channel original movies so yeah uh, so let's take a look at our bonus story. So today we're looking at Dumbo Circus, and this was a Disney Channel original programming. Um, and Dumbo Circus was a live action puppetry show that featured uh, Dumbo, the characters from Dumbo. Um, and it aired on the Disney Channel starring on May 6, 1985. And it aired continuously until rerun with reruns until actually February 28th of 1997. So it did last over 10 years. Uh, so in terms of the show is Dumbo has grown up and has developed the ability to speak and Dumbo is now the star attraction of a traveling circus and each episode follows the circus as they travel from town to town in a wagon pulled by Dumbo. Uh, so Dumbo is the only character that actually appears from the original film and the cast of characters would obviously include Dumbo who is voiced by Katie Lee, Lionel who is voiced by Jim Cummings and he is a Brooklyn Lion who is Dumbo's best friend and works at various jobs in the circus. Sebastian, who is voiced by Walker Edmondson, who is a purple alley cat who acts as the circus janitor. 
Fair Duncan is voiced by Hal Smith, and he is a koala who acts as the circus ringmaster. Barnaby, who is voiced by Will Ryan, is a goofy dog who is the, cl the clown magician of the circus. Lily, who is voiced by Patricia Paris, and she is a beautiful cat who is also a tightrope walker. And then finally, QT, who is voiced by Ron Gaines, and he is a slow-witted orangutan who is the resident strongman of the circus. Uh, so each episode would start with Dumbo flying through the, the air and a cast of characters setting up the circus. Each episode had a simple story that would teach toddlers a va valuable lesson. Uh, examples included of how to make friends as, or how to overcome anxiety. Uh, all the episodes would feature original songs and Dumbo would cue the audience in, when a song was coming on by talking directly to the audience. Uh, so memories of the show. Uh, I remember this show as a kid. I loved it. Um, I loved the cast of characters and the fun song. I thought it was a unique way to progress the Dumbo story and the character. Um, uh, I was hoping that we would see this on Disney+, Plus, but I, I don't know why it's not. Maybe it's a rights issue to the music, uh, but I think it would be a great addition, especially for toddlers, uh, kind of give them more content. Uh, so yeah, overall a great show. Um, it's kind of a brief, brief kind of rundown of Dumbo Circus. Uh, there is a really great history of uh, the Dumbo Circus on YouTube, as well as full ch full episodes are available on YouTube as well. Unfortunately, the show has never been released on VHS, um, and a lot of the episodes are considered lost media. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us here on Disney Movie Investigation. Uh, please leave a comment below on what you thought of the movie Bad Hair Day. Um, also, if you remember the show Dumbo Circus, what did you think of the show? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, so definitely one, uh, would love to hear your guys' comments. Uh, for our next vi uh, episode, we are going to finish our series on Alvin and the Chipmunks as we take a look at Alvin and the Chipmunks Chipwrecked. Uh, so until next time, I hope you have a magical day and we will see you real soon.